My name is Jennifer Kirkendall Griffin. I'm running for Suwannee County Judge. In today's installment of SCALES, or Suwannee County Access to Legal Education series, I am discussing what a will is and how to properly create one. So first of all, what is a will? Well, in simple terms, a will is a document prepared by the testator or the testatrix to designate who should inherit and who should be the personal representative should a formal administration be necessary. In order for the will to be admissible to probate, certain requirements must be met. The testator must be at least 18 years old. The testator is the person who's making the will for him or herself, or testatrix as it may be. The testator must be of sound mind at the time of execution. So, for example, say a person with advanced dementia, well, they're not going to be of sound mind and they cannot create a will. Another requirement is that the will must be in writing and it has to be witnessed by at least two people. Now that's all that's required, but to make it even easier to be admissible, the will can be what's called self-proving. To do that, the testator's signature and the signature of the two witnesses has to be notarized. And there was actually a fairly recent law change for remote notaries. But with wills, there's a special provision that if there's any suspicion that the testator is what's called a vulnerable adult, then the will must be signed and notarized in person. So even if the will is not self-proving, if it is still admissible, there's just one more step that needs to be taken. And that step is to file an oath of witness. Or if one of the original witnesses is not available, the personal representative nominated in the will may file the oath. Or even any person that is not interested in the estate, such as the attorney that prepared the will. The oath simply states that the person believes the writing exhibited to be the true last will of the decedent. If the will is admitted to probate, then the court follows the wishes of the decedent. However, if for some reason the will is inadmissible, then the estate passes as provided through Florida law, which would be intestate succession. My video last week talked about intestate, meaning when you die without a will. Now this has been a broad overview of what a will is and what it does for the estate. Next week I'm going to be again discussing the different types of administration of an estate starting with the lowest which is disposition of an estate without administration. If you found this information useful or you know somebody that could benefit from it, please like and share and definitely follow the campaign social media. If you have a particular topic you'd like me to address, send a message through the campaign social media or website and I'd be happy to film a video. Just remember that I can't speak about facts specific to a case, but I can speak in an educational manner. If you ever miss an installment of Scales, visit the campaign website to see all of the Scales videos that are available. And remember, on August 23rd of 2022, I'm asking you to vote for me. Jennifer Kirkendall Griffin for Swanee County Judge.